What's going on, everybody? I want to let you know you should start a Primaris Space Marine Army. Uh, if you're on the fence about what kind of army you want to start, I recommend a Primaris Space Marine Army. If you're new to 40K, uh, this is going to be a great choice for you. If you're coming back to 40K, this is going to be a great choice for you. And uh, if you're looking for maybe a second army, because you currently play a Xenos or Chaos army, I recommend a Primaris Space Marine army. And I want to give you just a few thoughts on the idea. Step number one, pick a color scheme that is not identical to any of the other chapters already established in the game. So if you're going to paint your Primaris Marines blue, don't make them look like Ultramarines and don't make them look like Space Wolves, and you're good to go. If you're going to paint them white, maybe just don't do the markings of white scars. So do a cream, off-white, an ivory. Um, do them brown, do them orange, right? Whatever you want. Do them half blue and half orange, or blue and brown, or whatever, right? Just mix it up a little bit. This is going to make it so your opponents won't care at all what chapter you're using your army as. So when you're playing a game, if you want to use your orange and blue marines as ultramarines one game, and the next week you want to use them as blood angels, and the next week they're death watch, uh, people shouldn't have a problem with that. Um, technically they have absolutely no say in that whatsoever, and you could do it any way you want, but if they look like blood angels, people just expect blood angels, and it can give them a feeling of, uh, you know, like a bad taste in their mouth. That being said, don't let anybody tell you how to paint your models because most of them probably don't even paint their, you know, paint their models or maybe pay to have somebody else paint them for them. So who cares? Do what you want. That being said, if you go to an event, you probably will have to use them as the chapter they're painted as. So if you make up your own color scheme, then you will be free to make up your own lore, i.e. use whatever book or chapter you want. Um, I, I'm fully against mixing chapters within armies the same way I would be against mixing hive fleets or craft worlds or forge worlds or whatever. But if that's something you're into, then you're going to have to make two chapters. But then you're going to have to keep going and figuring out down the road how you want to mix and match. Maybe one day you want your assault marines or whatever your primaries reverse to be death watch. And then the next day you want them to be blood angels. Well, if they're not going to coincide with that part of the army, then you're going to have to have two units painted in your two color schemes. I think you just pick one book and go with it. Um, if you are doing Death Watch, there are a few reasons why you would maybe include the generic Space Marines. Unfortunately, they would have to be kind of like allies in their own chapter. But if you wanted like a Predator or... I believe like a whirlwind or a oh, what's that gun called thud gun thunder god what is that gun called that no line of sight tech marine gun thud fire cannon or thunder fire cannon uh things like that unfortunately you would have to ally those guys in or you could look into maybe imperial guard or imperial knights if you're looking to add in some uh other kind of firepower that the death watch codex doesn't have so you are going to play Primaris Space Marines, and you are building a safety net in the hobby. Although you might not win every game because they're not the most this or that, whatever, you'll win plenty of games, it's fine, you'll have a great time. Uh, the reason that it, it's going to be a safe choice to play Primaris Space Marines, specifically Primaris, um, you can take some of the other vehicles, but I would avoid the non-Primaris Marines at all costs at this point going forward in the hobby i don't see them releasing new space marines okay like i don't see them releasing a lot of new just regular space marine units i don't see them updating the stern guard or the tax squad or the devastator squad what i do see and i would bet money on this i see the primaris devastator squad coming out right now all of a sudden you got the turbo assault heavy bolters and the you know 
ecto cooler las cannons or whatever that the primaris guys are holding because right now all they got is the hell blasters and they got three different versions of that same gun so the logical next step is going to be the rest of say the devastator squad if you count them as kind of somewhere around a plasma cannon uh, and even then they're not quite there they could be somebody could be literally you know whipping out a big hell blaster plasma cannon uh, they got the uh, jump pack guys with the mini heavy bolters and they got the reavers with knife and bolt pistol but there's a lot of uh, they don't have scouts yet and by scouts i mean their own kind of scouts snipers um their own devastators they don't have their own jump infantry that are hand-to-hand -hand, like assault squad they do have the heavy bolter plasma gun ones they only have one dreadnought and they only have one tank so they're definitely getting more and more and all you need to know is look at the stormcast eternals in age of sigmar and that'll help you know exactly what's going to happen to your primaris army you are going to get new stuff all the time so your army's constantly going to be updated you're not going to probably get hit with a nerf and points raised or anything unless you had a nice time of something being way too cheap and dominating the, the meta or the game or some events so likely every time a chapter of proof comes out you're going to benefit again as things will lower in points to make you more and more competitive and one major thing with the primaris army is there's so many cheap primaris models to buy Everybody that bought the starter set that's not playing Primaris, everybody that bought the Wolf and Claw or whatever one, they got more Primaris in that box set. There's easy build kits. There are tons of Primaris Marines ripe for the taking. Good deals. They're more expensive in points, so you need less of them. They're bigger. They look better. They're fun to paint uh, compared to a, once you've been painting some of these little Space Marines, you enjoy painting the bigger ones. And they're still Space Marines, so they're not like the most fun thing you ever painted. But, I don't know, the bigger ones are cooler. They got cool characters, but they got infinite room. Tons of room for more war gear options, more characters, more unit types. Way more vehicles are coming, I'm sure. And I would just compare it to the Stormcast Eternals and Age of Sigmar. Every time there's some kind of shift or big update or whatever, boom, a little sprinkle of Primaris is coming in. Right? There's the new campaign. And how are the Primaris going to get to that campaign? Oh, and their new Rhino. Or how are the Primaris going to defend the Stronghold? Oh, with their new Devastator squad. So you heard it here first. Protect your... Like the Wu... Actually, you heard it from the Wu-Tang Clan. Protect your neck. Start a Primaris Marine Army. Unless you hate Space Marines, then, you know, play whatever you want. 